So having heard from Neil, one of the inpatients here at Clock View, uh, we've also heard from families of people being treated here about what it's like when someone in your family needs admitting to a ward for mental health treatment, uh, like Jamie, who's only 15. My mum, she's got mental health problems. And, yeah, I've got a little brother and stuff. So what does your sort of daily routine involve? Um, just like keeping the house in check and making my mum to her tablets and her medications all right, making sure she's okay if she needs me to stay with her, if she needs me to go to appointments or go even go to the shops or walk down the street, just stick by her if she needs me. So you need to be with her sort of most of the time? Yeah, most of the time that I can be with her, I need to be there just in case she needs me. And then if not, I'm only a phone call away to get home to her. If they need you, then you're... They are your priority to look after, so you're the only person. If at, in the, in the situation, you're the only person that can look after them and knows what to do. I mean, you're coming across as absolutely angelic here, but there must be times you get there must be times you get fed up, and it's all right to get fed up. Honestly, you know, when when do you just get ratty with it and just get? I don't know. It's it's tough, you know, and there's there's nothing wrong with sort of lashing out against that from time to time, I suppose. Yeah, it's just like the. Like the most situations, it's in school when teachers are trying to like make me stay behind and stuff like that, and they do, they don't understand anything that's going on. So that's what like annoys me the most. Just people understand them why you can't stay.